How are you bracing for uh, what looks like a, a Republican-controlled House, at least, that might want to come in and sort of just question some of your policies and, and score some points with uh, their criticisms of the direction you've taken the city over the years that they might not agree with? It doesn't matter what they think. It matters what D.C. residents think. Um, and we will uh, do with them what we've always done, uh, is tell them who we are, we take care of ourselves, we create our own laws, and we need them to stay out of our business. Um, and until we get statehood, uh, we will continue to be uh, very forthright in those discussions. You anticipate more fireworks, I guess, on the Hill for people trying to score points against you or some of your employees? Or I, I don't really know what to anticipate. First of all, they haven't won yet. Um, and so the votes are still being counted. And if you had asked me the same question yesterday, I'd have been like, oh gosh, yes, it's gonna be terrible. But now, like, even if they do get the majority, it's, it's a, it will be a soft one. It'll be a soft one. And uh, our voters, what I asked DC residents leading up to this election um, was to stick with us and to vote. Um, because if they do try to haul me up there and score points, they don't, they don't usually. But if they do, they do it mostly on Twitter or whatever. If they do, we know that DC residents will be prepared to have my back.